and this is not advisable to do if you own a set of these as well. I'm gonna take one of these off to show you what it's like underneath mid-trip and I'm gonna have to try and put it back on. Right guys, so I've been out here up at Mansfield all weekend using abusing the 200 as I do, you know, just doing stuff. Had the bush barrier protection panels on now all weekend, so we went up to um, Craig's hut yesterday along number three track and nothing super hard but muddy as all hell because snow season's always muddy. Um, couple of track, I tried to find a couple of tracks that were a little bit scrubby, which I'll try and put over the screen now for you as well. So I'm trying to see how they how they come out just from some sticks going over it because obviously it is a magnet on the edge. So I was worried about whether a stick would catch it and tear it off, which I think is it's a possibility, but I haven't had it happen at all. And I've been trying to find some, some not nasty nasty tracks, but some tracks that are sort of putting some lines through it and make it, making a, a couple of decent scratches here as well. Right, guys, so this is how you get the bush barrier panel protection sent to you if you order one. This is how it comes. So, in a big cardboard box, or you can put it in a giant PVC pipe so you can actually carry it and store it a little bit here. Probably not store it, probably just carry it if you want to carry it to a trip. You can ro roll them up, chuck them in something like this. Stacks a whole lot easier in the car to, than um, other competitor ones out there. Uh, the roof there. That's a full set inside this this container. So that's about 900 mil long, 150 mil diameter. That fits in your car a whole lot better than what any other brands of panel protection like this can fit inside your car. All right, but we'll unbox this one. Show you what you get in the box when you buy these things. Ready? I'm excited for this already. Yeah. Uh, one box. All right, so it's beautifully packaged inside there, so you can see it's all nicely foam rolled up, taped up around a, a cylinder as well. So they're not kinked, they're not, uh, they don't have any creases in them. Oh. Hold that out of the way. There's your... Do, 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 do. Plenty of protection. So, I reckon once you get using these things, you probably won't use this foam again. I think, um, obviously, being a new product, they send it out pristine. There's nothing wrong with it, no scratches, no nothing on it. I think after you get a couple scratches and bush pinch driving, I don't think you'd be as precious about it. So, you know, so it is always advisable that you grab a clean cloth and just give them a wipe down before you put them on, just to make sure there's nothing stuck to them. They are a giant magnet, so things can stick to them. And they metal, and they metal that sticks to this, and then you put it on your paint, what do you think is gonna happen? So you do have to be vigilant when you're putting them on for the first time, or any other time after, just to make sure that they are clean, no contaminants, just for your own peace of mind. Once they're on though, nothing gets, up, nothing gets under these suckers. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna chuck this on. Best way I've found, line it up at the top. Pick a point, go on, press it all down. Schmicko. So that's absolutely perfect there. Lines up nicely with all the doors. Perfect cutout for the door handle. Just, whoa, just wow, seriously. Done and dusted. Like that's that is an awesome design. So design, that was my part. But the fact that they can print that on to, onto this, and that is complete panel protection the entire way through, that's phenomenal. That's awesome product.
Sparrows himself. Obviously, you can get any print you want on there to do whatever you want. You can't actually see my design at the moment because they're that dirty and just filthy. What am I going to do though? And this is not advisable to do if you own a set of these as well. I'm going to take one of these off to show you what it's like underneath mid trip, and I'm going to have to try and put it back on um, to see what these look like underneath to see if they actually do keep everything out. Because a lot of people have asked, they say, or they, they think that things are going to get underneath and it's going to vibrate and it's going to scratch the paint worse than what it was, would if you just left them off. So I haven't touched this, you can see there's still clean lines of mud going all the way through. I haven't taken this off at all, first time. And just to show you how easy it is to take off as well, like, that's it there, it's off. That's quick as. But to show you, back of the panel, crystal clear, not a thing on I hope. Yeah, not a thing on <laughs> Honestly, this is, you know, you guys know me, I'm not here to bullshit you. That is clean as. Obviously, where the door handle is, where it wasn't covering, is muddy. Everything else, not a scratch, well, not a new scratch here, because I already had plenty of scratches anyway. But that, that is all clean as all hell. Absolutely smicko. Obviously not advisable to take them off mid-trip, because it's a possibility when I go to put this back on, I can get some stuff stuck under it. But what I'm going to do is hopefully, with any luck, and with the miracle of, miracles of editing, it's back on. So, obviously I'll just rub some mud off there. But so far they're doing the damn job. It's exactly what they're doing. So I, I traveled on the highway all the way from the eastern suburbs of Melbourne up here to Mansfield with these on the car. Obviously you would have seen me putting them on at home there. I think the quickest I got up to was like maybe 110 on the highway overtaking a car. Not a single thing came off, it was fantastic. I'll show you the front edge right now because that was the main one I was concerned. So these front edges here is the main one I was worried about. Because it comes to a, a point, I was thinking air is going to get under that and it's going to pull up so easy. That's what I thought. Hasn't come off at all. It molds to the car fantastic. Between you and me, I may or may not have got up to maybe 130 the other day overtaking a car and nothing came off. Obviously, Bush Barrier recommend 80k an hour, but that's just to protect their own ass. Definitely capable of staying on for all freeway use without any worries at all. Obviously that's not guaranteed from them because they have to give a, a speed limit just to make sure that they're safe. But from testing what I've done with this particular one, and I've heard of others like 70, 76 series, and they're a whole lot squarer than these are. No lifting, no, no lost panels. These magnets are super, super strong. Love them. To just give you an example as well, just came down that track there and I was trying to find some some really scratchy stuff. So it's actually dug right in here. Hasn't rub some off there. Hasn't made a mark in the actual panel itself. But you can see that's that's some thick mud. I've taken some decent gouges all the way through. Hasn't lifted an edge. Um, obviously this is a small panel here. Probably can't even see it. That's a tiny little panel here. I'll rub that back. That's actually, that's magnet there, and that's that's only like a 30 mil wide strip, and that managed to stay on with a stick coming straight over it. it. Hasn't come off, so that is super strong. Little features that they probably, that other brands don't necessarily have. Um, fuel cap filler. So rather than have to take this entire panel off to get it to come off, they literally cut out your fuel filler. So all you've got, all you've got to do is get the one panel back on, which, is a little bit fiddly, but <laughs> job done. It's not that bad. So that means this doesn't have to come off. You don't have to, well, especially with the car dirty like this, you don't have to take the whole thing off. You just take that one little bit out, and that's a tight line, which doesn't make it does make it fiddly to get in, but it means that no dust and dirt and everything else gets under there at the same time. That's a cool little feature. One other cool th cool thing that. Bush Barry does over a lot of other brands as well for panel protection like this. Um, obviously this is one piece for, for starter. This entire bit coming all the way around here is one, one piece for the whole thing. So it means, means you've got maximum amount of surface tension to try and hold that magnet on. Um, they come pre-cut to your particular snorkel. Main brands mostly. So if you've got a custom uh, stainless snorkel or something like that, obviously they're not going to know what, exactly what it is. But most of these are all pre-cut, pre-done. Bang it on, job's done. 
couple of other added little benefits of having a custom design. As I say, it's for your business, so you're, you're a builder, um, it's, your, it's, your, it's your daily driver, you still want to use it for weekend stuff. You can get your, your, your building company, whatever it is, all your logos done on, done on this. It's, it's removable, so if you want to go incognito, whatever, um, you can have it all printed. The other thing they do is they give you free little smaller magnets to hand out, do whatever you want. So essentially, they're magnets as well. Generally, whatever offcuts they've got left, they'll they'll print these on there for you as well. Just as a, another add a little bonus. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so the thing everyone's been waiting for, the promo code. So Bush Barrier have been fantastic with us so for, for my subscribers and you guys for, for helping us out to get get a set of these under your car. Whether it be just a plain color, um, a stock design or a custom design like something like this, they're willing to help you out to do whatever it takes to do it. So on their website, you have to go to the website, um, they've got most cars, so pretty much any, any dual cab ute they've got. 200 series, the, the pre-facelift, the post-facelift, Y62s, yeah, they can get it. I think they kind of need it, because, you know, not much paint on those things. Um, so there's plenty of cars to choose from. If they don't have your car listed, shoot them an email. More than likely, it's in production, and they can still help you out. And the promo code will probably still apply for that one when it comes out. To be confirmed with them, though, you might have to talk to them about that. So, the promo code is valid until the end of this financial year, 2019. So... 30th of June 2019 is when it's all valid too. On the website in the promo section, you need to type in A4X4A, Australian 4x4 Adventures, pretty much, abbreviated. And that'll give you $100 off any kit that you buy, whether it be the standards, all the way up to the full custom design. It's 100, bu 100 bucks off. These things start at 700, so you're down to $600 for a set, for a set of these things. That's phenomenal pricing compared to some of the competition out there and what they're charging. They're just a small Aussie company, husband and wife team, awesome people. Met them on a, met them on a trip I was on a while ago, got talking to them, and this has all come from that. So, great people, help them out. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, chuck them in the comments below. Give us a like, subscribe, do all that stuff that YouTube's asked you to do. And I'll see you out in the tracks. Thanks, guys.